hey, it is time to get some ship done. And I have everything from like the most fragile thing I think I have ever shipped that is going to the UK to uh, one of the heaviest things I've ever shipped that's going to go in a flat rate. And we're going to talk about flat rate. So I'm going to tell you what sold, how much it sold for, and uh, we're going to get some ship done. So let's go. leaning down a little bit to talk to you guys in the camera it's way better than it was before I can't raise it up anymore so you can see my face while I'm shipping or you won't be able to see me shipping so this is good I'm not bending over so much they're out there today um, so the first item that I'm gonna ship is a customer who purchased three things from me they purchased this lovely toucan trinket box made in Venezuela. Whoop. I caught it. <laughs> and that customer is a viewer of mine. So uh, they would have just seen their item crunched if I had dropped that. It's all good. Um, this is a toucan. I'm going to set it back down now. As you can see, it's breakable. Um, that sold for $17.99. And then we have a, no, I lied. No, I didn't. We're good. $17.99. Um, oh, so let me talk about this. So this customer bought three things and they paid for each one separately. So they paid the full shipping amount on each item. I am going to combine two of these items together in one box and then I will be refunding that overage of shipping. So when it comes to refunding shipping, when it's a combined order that got paid for separately, that's way too much shipping to pay. I'm going to refund that to the customer. They also got this lovely, where's my camera? Lovely uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart mug that I just love. Um, it's got this pretty blue interior. They paid $19.99 for this scripture mug sell. You got, mugs are good business all the way around. Be looking for those mugs that sell. 20 bucks for a mug and they paid $12.75. So they paid the $12.75 and the $9.10 and the shipping is not going to cost anywhere near that. So I will be refunding on shipping. So here's the thing. They got three items you, you say, and you're like, wait, why aren't you putting all three of them together? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because the third one is these Blanco paperweights. These Blanco paperweights weigh nine pounds. And I'm afraid that if I were to put these into the same package with the other delicate breakable items, they would smash them. So these are gonna go in a large flat rate, but we're gonna do each item separately. I just wanted to tell you it's a combined order and we're shipping it a little different. They paid $70 for the Blancos, which we'll talk about that more later too. Okay, so let's go. Let's go ahead and do the Blinkos first. Literally, these things are so heavy, I can hardly pick them up with one hand. Now, I have spotted these on the shelf as just a single. So it, it doesn't look like much, right? It just looks like a big glob of glass and you may not even know it's a paperweight, but I assure you, this is a mid-century Blanco paperweight and they sell really well. So I am going to bubble those up super good and then we'll get them in a box. And I just realized I am missing my tape dispenser. I'll be right back. Okay, now we can function. So I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna do each one in their separate bubble wrap and then I'm gonna bubble wrap them together. Start this way. First one. All 
All right, now we've got them bubble wrap, and I'm gonna put bubble wrap around both of them together, maybe. See how I'm gonna do this, okay. Yes, it makes a circle when they're uh, put together, so you'd think it would be easy. Just to roll them up, there we go. Now we've got those all rolled up. Here is my large flat rate box. So you don't see me use flat rate boxes very much. I'm not a big believer in them, except when you have a nine pound set of bookends. That is the perfect time to use the flat rate. This is gonna cost about $20 to ship. So you have to keep that in mind. The medium, I don't even know what the medium costs right now because I just don't use it. And the reason why flat rate was a brilliant move by the post office. Let's think about this. They helped all of those people who are not like, you know, professional shippers, people like my mom. <laughs> no, that's not a good analogy because my mom is a professional shipper. Any of you who ship things for uh, venues that you sell on, you're a professional shipper, meaning you do it as part of making your living. Uh, you do it hopefully every day. I'm talking about the people who are still standing in line at the post office to have them help them package their items. They just don't know. I mean, shipping's a little confusing. Go back and watch my video all about taking the stress out of shipping, if you think shipping's confusing too, by the way, it might help. But, um, so these were an answer both to simplify the shipping process and rates for some of those customers, as well as make a boatload of money for the USPS. Because they kept telling you if it fits, it ships. Well, I could put a one pound item in here that fits and it's gonna ship for that $20 but I could ship it regular priority for probably about 10. So they're making a boatload of money on these flat rate boxes. So you have to really think about when you're using them. I don't know where the break point is of where it makes sense, but heavy items that fit in the flat rate boxes, by all means, sometimes there's a tremendous savings. So just use it wisely, don't use it for everything. I just know some sellers that I have coached over the years that use it for everything because it's easier, but it's more expensive and it's costing you money. All right, let me figure out how I'm gonna line this box. Peanuts are gonna smush down. So in this case, I will be using paper because I don't have to worry about adding weight and the paper, I think, is a better option. Now, of course, I don't have a lot of paper in here by me right now. I'm gonna go have to, I'm gonna go have to, I am going to have to go get some paper. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Smush the paper down in here. I think that's good because I've got lots of bubble wrap around these and I have to leave room for them to actually fit in the box. Ooh, you know what? Putting them together may have made it. <sighs> I have to redo this. They don't fit this way. All right, it seemed like a good idea at the time. This is again, I forget. These flat rate boxes are not as big as the regular priority. That's okay, we're flexible. So we're gonna undo this. I have to do each one of these in its own piece of bubble wrap. So I will just do that, because I do want the, the double bubble wrap on it. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this tears apart somewhere. Where's my, where's my perforation? taped on it. 
what I did. All right, I got two sheets again. Okay, there's one. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to have to get a little creative now, putting these in here and making sure that they are. There we go. Slightly overlapped in the center. I don't know if you can see that. Slightly overlapped and just enough space to be able to pack them in with the paper. same principle as when I use the peanuts. I don't want any movement. I want them nice and solid. I want to have to cram this lid down so that there's no chance of these getting loose and moving around. All right. And we're cramming. And we're cramming. Ooh, we did it. why did you use so much tape that is because number one the ebay tape is pretty thin and flimsy and i want there to be no chance that this box is going to pop open because of the weight inside so the heavier the item the more tape you need to use my pen is gone no it's not here it is all right on to the next one so next i am going to ship the two other items that were part of this order but that are going in their own box. That is the toucan, a little toucan box. Okay, we can talk about this again now. The toucan box, $17.99 plus $9.10 shipping is what they paid for this. And we will give this some bubble wrap. Now I like to take the lid off, put bubbles between that, but still wrap it together. Fold our little ends over here. All right. And then the mug. Now when I do that bubble wrap for the mug, I use a long sheet of bubble wrap, which is two of the 12 by 12 squares. And I make sure that most of it is going to get doubled over on the handle. So you'll see, I'm gonna, your handle is always your most vulnerable part vulnerable part of a mug. So now you see I have all this extra bubble here over on the handle. That's what I wanted. Make sure I'm staying in the screen there. Someday we will find the perfect camera angle. Until then, let's do what we got to do. All right, now what I'm going to use with this is a shoe box because I don't want to use a great big box for these. Um, that's a little overkill, but I do want them protected. So I'm going to use the shoe box because I can put one on top of the other in here and that works really well. But first I do need peanuts for this one. So there's my first layer of peanuts. I'm going to put the mug in and I'm going to make sure the handle has plenty of room. Let's see, Doo -doo -doo -doo. and I'm going to put peanuts around that. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but I've got the sides of this box bulging out a little bit. It's okay 
to kind of pull these apart and make sure the peanuts go as much as you want them. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little layer of peanuts between the two items and then put this in. And I'm putting it in long ways, not flat, so that there's plenty of room to package around it, which I'm going to go do right now. Okie dokie, there it is. All nice and secure. Close our flaps and tape it up. And voila. Okay, I have one piece I'm dreading. I'm gonna kind of put that off. I'm gonna do the, the Christmas swan. This is a candle holder and it sold for $20 on a best offer. You can see there, Christmas does sell all year long. She's really pretty. See, here's the bottom. And they paid $11.75 for shipping. So let's get her wrapped up in some nice bubble wrap. I got a nice big sheet here. And I like to go the corner to corner. I don't know why to me it just is a more efficient way to use the bubble wrap. I can use less and still get the best coverage. There we go bubbled up and this one is going to go into this is going to go into a regular number 12 i do believe not number 12 number seven which is 12 by 12 by eight so i always test it you know put the item in there see if you've got room i do and now i'm gonna go add the peanuts and get her packaged up oh so, real quick let me show you what i did i'm not shipping her standing up i'm laying her down so that the support on that neck is the best that it can be. All right, I'm gonna finish it up. All right, now we're ready to close the flaps. Smoosh it down. And taper up. There we go. Next I have a Temptations. This is a muffin pan in old world orange. Um, and it's funny because it's actually not marked Temptations. This is one of the earlier ones, but it is absolutely that pattern. And we're gonna give that some bubble wrap. Oh, this sold for $20 on a best offer and they paid $12.60 to ship. real happy with just a single layer on that. I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to flip it over so that the doubling happens now on the other side as well. And this is going to go number seven, which I don't have made. Let me make that right now. All right, so same thing. I'm going to need to put my peanuts in there. Now I'm gonna put the handles kind of corner to corner and you see this doesn't lay flat. So I'm gonna actually angle it in the box. You know, now that I do this, now with the peanuts, I mean with the bubble wrap on it, man, I'm not happy with how smushy this is. I need to find a different box for the temptation. Okay, I found a box. Now, this box right here is a great sturdy box, but the problem I have is this box is 20 and a half inches tall and it's 15 inches wide. So in order for this not to be oversized, I'm gonna to have to cut it down, which is fine, 
uh, because my plate is 12 by 14. <laughs> I measured it. Yes, 12 by 14. So even if I go the long end, if I leave, wait, 14, 15. Yeah, so I want to leave at least an inch or two. If I cut this down to 16, I'll be good because that gets me into that 12 cubic inch parameter. All right, let me do that. I'll get back with you. All right, I have cut down the box. I cut off this extra flap here, and now I gotta go put the peanuts in and put the plate in. Okay, it's in there. I'm gonna put these flaps down, which is also extra heavy duty protection because now I'm like, I'm triple boxed on that little part. Now if I can just get this down to where this folds nice and neat, that would make me happy. There we go. Whew. Oh, I did not just do that on camera. Apparently, I should have done this one first. Because now, I guess I'll be teaching you how to give a refund. Um, because I completely broke him. And I'm really embarrassed. And that was really stupid of me. But you know what? It happens. It happens to all of us at some point. Um, yeah, I'm about to cry right now. I, I truly am. That. Okay, was meant to be. Was meant to be a teachable moment today. That breakage happens. So I will include a little tutorial and how to give a refund when something like that happens. So here's how you give the refund. You go into your orders waiting to ship, um, because in this case it's paid and waiting to ship, and I find the order, and right here under where it says, I can't open this up because I had no other way to blurt out the customer information if I did that, um, but you'll see a selection that says cancel order. You wanna select that. Then when you open that up, you'll see this screen. Your customer information is over there on the right. I cut that out. But you want to choose right up here, out of stock or damaged, if that is the reason you're canceling, which in this case, obviously it is. And when you do that, you just hit submit. And this is the screen you will see next. Now the customer has to accept it and that's when it will be complete and then eBay will send you an email. So. There it is. There's my $40 sale that I have to refund. So sad. Okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. And finish the package you're working on, Danny. Alright. I'm just gonna kind of loosely fasten that just to get a start. Now I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> it's embedded into the back of the, oh, that was bad. Okay, let's finish. I guess that's going to complete the shipping for today since I'm no longer shipping the one that I was putting off. I guess sometimes it does not pay to procrastinate. Had I packaged that one up first or even second, I would still be shipping it. So lesson learned, lesson learned. What you think might be the worst thing sometimes can be the best thing. And with that, Go be profitable and make it fun. It's not always fun, but we can shake it off and we can have fun on the next one. All right, everyone.